my god, I lost my train of thought. What was I gonna say? Ability. Why is it every time I'm on the YouTube, people wanna hit me up? It's never a uh, hey Kayla before or anything. It's like always when I'm filming. It's hot. I'm trying to be cute and sophisticated for y'all, but if I get heat stroke, the heat is on. Who turned the heat off? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new viewer, what's good? And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, I love you, I missed you, and welcome back to my channel. Mm, what time is it? It is 12 a.m. I just got finished doing my schoolwork, so I'm like, boom, gotta get the video out. So this video on how to chase your dreams, how to achieve them, how to focus, how to maintain, how to get y'all stuff done. Yeah, how to stay focused. This is a lot of life advice, basically how I kind of just achieved my stuff and just, yeah follow your heart, live your best life, and just do you. You know, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about that because everyone always asks me. I need a video. Y'all need a video. Especially during this time with everyone just like being at home. Like we have so much time to think about stuff. Well, my mind has been going through a little, a little slime slime, you know, trying to figure stuff out, which is okay. You know, we're all going through a lot. Yeah, you guys aren't alone. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up. And let's just get into the video. Okay, so from the jump, really pushing myself in a way. I've had passions for so many things. Modeling has been one of them since I was super, super young. Knowing that, I've always been taught by my family members, like especially like my mom, my uncle. My entire family has supported me in following my dreams and chasing what I want to do in life. Never having regrets, taking risks. That's what I've always known. I mean, it was fairly easy for me to like kind of get into the movement of really just chasing my dream of, you know, becoming a model. Chasing my we moved and we're we moved and we're still by a train okay i've always had this ambitious driven type of thing going on you know that's always been me however long you guys have been with me you guys have seen me just grow up and progress with things i knew i was gonna really get into it i knew i was gonna be a model like i just had that confidence in me i kind of just knew this is what i wanted to do like modeling that was that's always been one of my dreams and then wanting to branch out on other things i have so many other dreams i haven't even crossed yet fingers crossed but the journey to really achieve your goals is not easy. A lot of people have been keen on to like, oh, Kayla kind of, she got this easy or like this was very easy for her. She kind of just got it like that. It was never easy. So basically to run that back, whatever career path you guys are choosing, whatever you feel like you want to do, it's always going to be a lot of hard work. It's a huge rarity that you're going to find success right off the bat. I thought it would be kind of easy, but not like, oh, just boom, I got like my foot in the door ASAP. I knew I was going to have to build a portfolio for modeling. I knew I was going to have to work hard for it, but I didn't think it would be as hard as it was. I feel like you guys only saw the surface and I guess that's because that's all I put out was like the surface of things. So you guys have to remember that social media, like you see someone posting this success, don't think that it's immediate because it's not. No one is posting their failures and at the time I was not. I had that dream of becoming a model since I was four or five. I wanna say five, I had the dream for years. I manifested and planned it out in four and I achieved it in two. So that's a pretty long time to like have a dream and then just like go for it and like plan it out. It took me a minute, like none of it was ever easy. That's literally all I ever wanted. Just like, boom, I was chasing that, like, for real. So the two years that it took for me to achieve it, I dedicated all of my time. When I wasn't in school, after school, doing my research, doing um, my own photo shoots, meeting up with photographers, putting my hand in different things, but still working towards becoming a professional model. And at the end of my sophomore year in high school, that's when I really started to get a good, like, grip on things. Just go crazy, stick with it. When you're chasing a goal, you need to make sure that this is something that you really want. You have to put your all into it. It. it takes a lot of hard work dedication you need to be dedicated like focused i believe in y'all you guys need to believe in yourselves y'all got this remember that there's no goals or dreams that are too small or too big a dream is a dream you know what i'm saying if this is something you want to do something you're aspiring to be don't discredit your goal or dream ever because if you have one that is super amazing besides high school modeling was on the forefront i knew i was like boom kaylee gonna get this you're gonna put your all into it you're gonna achieve this no matter what the month before i got signed with my current agency i was actually going to quit just drop everything that i was working for that i was doing i felt really low i doubted myself times a million on it if i would ever pursue it if i could ever actually do it you know what i'm saying get into it i struggled so much with managing things and just keeping 
myself together. I got rejected way more times than I actually found success, which is how it is when you're pursuing. You're gonna get so many no's, so many, and you're gonna feel very discouraged. I got told I didn't have the right look for it, I wasn't what they were looking for, not the right face, not the right body. Oh, you won't be able to grow on this, maybe try something else. I got told everything in the book, and then some, by people in the modeling industry. I just kinda was just like, oh my god, like, and yeah, it was, you know, the month before I found what I was looking for. I was gonna quit, drop everything I was doing, stick to the status quo, take no risk, be on a very straight and easy path. So that was my junior year. It was in February and it was the month before I got that one yes from my agency. Talking to my family about it and like my mom, my friend, she like, girl, girl, what? Like, what are you quitting for? You came this far, so you really gonna quit, girl? I was literally having a panic attack because I felt so defeated because I wasn't getting there. My junior year of high school was the most stressful year of my life because I was in school, focusing on my classes, focusing on my schoolwork. And on top of that, trying to pursue a career, I was just all over the place. But the one quality that I had was that I just didn't quit. I didn't end up quitting. I would not be here talking to y'all right now. Imagine quitting something. You don't even know that it's like, it could be your time tomorrow, the next week, next month, next year, and the next two years. That could be your time where you find that success that you were longing to get, that you have been working hard for. Winner's mindset and the other mindset. That's what happens when you're going for the go. You're gonna get rejected. You're gonna get way more no's than you get yeses. That's what it means to be ambitious. That's what it means to chase your dreams, your goals. That's what that is. As you keep striving, you're gonna feel that way more. So I had to think, Kayla, what did you expect chasing your dreams? Did you really think it was gonna be that easy? And I'm like, girl, yeah. My winner's mindset is like, <laughs> no, you gotta work for it and you to strive no matter how long it takes one thing that we have to remember is that age knows no success you can be successful at any given time and you never know when it is your time tomorrow could be your day or next week or any any day so you never give up on your dreams no matter how hard it gets and when i was constantly falling flat on my face i always got back up you know still still good i had to keep my mindset together i got to keep my mature mentality on 10 because I would always think that failing was a bad thing. I realized that failing is normal. Failing is what happens when you're trying. Anytime I would fail, I would fall. I would feel discouraged. Like I said, I wanted to quit before I actually achieved my success that I was longing for, that I was working for. My family, my close ones helped me realize that, hey, yo, I got a lot of tough love. They were like, hey, suck it up get it together we're all going to fail in life we're gonna make mistakes you failed clap it up do you know how many people wish they actually went for the shot you did so you need to be grateful that you failed because you went for it if you don't fail are you really trying and you got to have that confidence confidence comes in preparation when you know that you're prepared that confidence emits off you like it's nothing else it's like you can't live without it it's that feeling where you have to go get it no matter what the odds are you need to have an appetite for what you want to do get hungry and if it's not that means you don't want it bad enough you need to want your dream as bad as you want to breathe it's that passion it's that feeling you fiend for to where you can't live without knowing if you're going to achieve it or not right so if it's something that you truly want you got to go get it you have to appreciate the struggle because the struggle means 10 times more than when you actually get it every struggle every endeavor you come out so better on the end any rejection anytime someone has told you no someone has said that you can't do it nothing is ever handed to you it's not just going to be laid out on a silver platter ready to go especially when you're working to get things done on your own old girl not going to chase your dream old dude is not going to pay your bills and get your dream for you this is all you all the motivation in the world but you have to chase the dream yourself you got to work for yourself but if everyone was chasing their dream you would see everyone doing it but it's the toughest thing it's a struggle it's ups and downs times where you feel doubtful times you want to quit you never do ever because that right there when you quit it's probably because you didn't want it that bad or it's like you know what i'm saying you just didn't have it in you you know when you hear about many successful people that have chased their dreams was it ever easy for them with their story rarely a lot of the time things didn't come easy to them it started with nothing zero so having that mindset you guys can achieve anything you want to do and with that mindset that's kind of how i just went about things i knew that i just had to keep going never quitting staying focused you know staying driven motivated and a lot of the times i would lose motivation i felt very stuck i didn't have a lot of motivation to keep going but i knew in order to achieve my dreams i had to get it back gain it 
back slowly but surely. My qualities were just never giving up, always keeping it pushing. Make sure you do your research, practice on your craft, work hard. That's what you gotta do. And people always ask me, okay, well, how are you always so positive? How do you stay that way? Like, nothing has ever been perfect. And I would be like, dang, like, people really think that it's, like, all perfect like that? And it's like, nah. When I think of a positive person, I think about what they've been through to be that way. And that's what I thought, like, everyone kind of thought about. Like, okay, clearly if she positive, she must have been through the bad. But a lot of people, you know, kind of just still had that never been through nothing. That's why she's so positive. But no, being strong-willed takes self-restraint, self-discipline, which is something that something that's really hard to do. I mean, it's hard to really maintain your goals but the thing is you need to want it i want you guys to think about every single idea every single thing you've ever wanted to pursue and i know you guys have many ideas for yourselves you always want to get into it but things are holding you back and i used to hold myself back too because i would always just kind of be scared you know it's scary to think about the future and to think about going into something and getting out of your comfort zone right things that might be holding you back is how people will perceive you something that hits close to home is you do something that caters to you and that you want to do and it's a passion of yours and your family might not agree if you just got rid of all of that noise in the background if you just tune it out for five minutes what matters is about you this isn't drea's life you know stop listening to what Dre is saying to you stop listening to what kelvin's saying to you you know what i'm saying this isn't their life this is you what do you want to pursue what is your career path what is your purpose in life us being on earth right now was a trillion to one so what specifically made you want to be here this bad every single one of us has a purpose we just have to find it and really truly see what we want out of ourselves to live whatever life we just have to be the best versions of ourselves no matter what life is way too short to be unhappy and to do something that doesn't cater to you follow your heart be yourself and just make the best decisions for you i hope you guys like the video and make sure you follow me on all of my social medias my instagram twitter snap i'm gonna get started on editing this video right after i end it i will see you guys later